Lazio for experiencement number seven, the nitration of methyl benzoate. Here's methyl benzoate. Here's the nitration product of methyl benzoate. You fill an appropriate size beaker with about half full of ice. Then you add about 5 grams of salt for every 100 grams of ice and mix it together. Doing this lowers the melting point of the ice and creates a colder bath than with just ice and water alone. Our previously made ice bath, we have a 50 ml Erlenmeyer that already contains uh, three mils of cooling concentrated sulfuric acid. We've measured out three mils of nitric acid and you slowly and carefully add the nitric acid to the sulfuric acid. And then mix while keeping it in the ice bath and not letting it warm up. After that, you need to add 5 mils of methanol into a test tube and also cool that down in the same ice bath without letting them tip over. <laughs> In a 125 ml Erlenmeyer, you need to measure out about 2.5 grams of methyl benzoate. It's a liquid with a density of 1.08. So if you work it out, you can just measure out 2.31 milliliters. So we already have 2.31 milliliters measured out. We pour it into an already cooled 125 ml Erlenmeyer. Next, you add 3 mils of cold concentrated sulfuric acid while mixing. You especially want to make sure you're wearing gloves during this experiment because nitric acid and sulfuric acid do burn when they touch your skin. If your solutions have been cooling for a few minutes, you want to use a glass Pasteur pipette to drop wise add the sulfuric acid nitric acid mixture into your mixture of sulfuric acid and methyl benzoate while stirring. You want to make sure that the both reactants stay cool while you're doing this. You want to be especially careful that the nitric acid and sulfuric acid mixture doesn't get on your skin. It will be very painful.
after a few minutes you should see a yellow solution start to form. One of the reasons you're keeping this in ice is because it's an exothermic reaction and you need to keep the reactants cool. So once the crisp, or once you've finished adding the mixture of nitric and sulfuric acid, you can remove the resulting yellow solution from the ice bath and let it sit at room temperature for 10 to, 12, to 15 minutes um, while stirring occasionally. You're going to pour it into about 20 to 25 grams of ice while stirring. You should allow all the ice to melt um, to be sure that crystallation is complete. This melted, then you're going to collect your crystals by vacuum filtration. Make sure the filter paper is wet. Slowly pour the crystals into the Buchner funnel. You may use your DI to rinse the remaining crystals out of your beaker. Once you have most of the crystals um, out of your beaker, you're going to turn off the vacuum and add about five mils of water. Oops. And swirl without disturbing the filter paper. This is to get rid of any excess acid. Then turn the vacuum back on to, to get rid of the water. Do this two more times. During the third time, you're going to check the pH of the water with pH strips. It's still really acidic, so we're going to wash a couple more times. So once your solution is neutral, as shown by the pH paper, you're going to remove all the water from the crystals, turn off the vacuum, and rinse with um, about 5 milliliters of cold methanol. Back on the vacuum and let your crystals dry on vacuum for a couple of minutes. Once your crystals are 
have finished drying for a few minutes on the vacuum, you need to remove them from the filter paper, weigh them, and check their purity by melting point with an authentic sample.